Good evening and welcome to our Global Gatherings show tonight on Kick Radio. I am Mark Smalian and am excited to be presenting music from around our planet. The Middle East has been at the center of our planet's creative influence since the start of recorded history. With that in mind, we decided to start our journey in and around the Middle East and its influences. Music comfortably crosses borders and doesn't worry about such things as passports and border control. And this is shown clearly in some of the collaborations we will be hearing tonight. We hope you enjoy. There is a place where ancient elements dance to the melodies of travelers who come to share their journeys free of destinations, where heavens and earth meet in an embrace of understanding, beneath an endless night sky, beside a crystal clear ocean, it is there we choose to meet.
The first and second pieces came from the album Rasa Satan Project. Rasa Satan is a small traveler's village on the edge of the Red Sea in the Sinai Desert. For 20 years, musicians from all over the world have been gathering in this place. Out of these unique meetings, an album was born that brings together over 30 musicians from 13 different countries. Many of these countries are in conflict with one another. Israel and Palestine, Syria, Sudan, and also we have musicians from more fortunate places like New Zealand and the USA, Europe and Scandinavia. The music, though, doesn't recognize borders, which is pretty cool. The first piece is called Haljan, an arrangement based on traditional mountain Bedouin vocals, a kind of call and response type thing. The second piece is called Maktoub, which literally means it is written, or written destiny. Here, all the musicians who participated on the project have a voice, if only for one or two bars, including the instrumentalists. Let's move on. Let's go. 
ندم تكتر غير براك تبقى ام سفيني بدي تكتر عشت المازة بالبيت وانا قادر اطلع منه لا لا لم راح اوصل وصوتي راح يسطع بالدنيا فلتوني من الهاوية فلتوني من العبودية اني بيتي سجرة خضرة ودولتي الكورة الارضية عشت المازة بالبيت وانا قادر اطلع منه لا لا لم راح اوصل وصوتي راح يسطع بالدنيا فلتوني من الهاوية فلتوني من العبودي أني بيتي سجرة خضرة وضلت الكورة الأرضية عشت المازة بالبيت رح أبقى كل حياتي من الضيعة ابن القرية عشت بساطة وحافي وارقص على ارض الدافي من الضيعه ابن القري
the heart of the Saharan Desert region of northern Mali, we heard Claire Achel from Tinari Wen. Tinari Wen is a band of Tuareg musicians from the Sahara Desert region of northern Mali. Tinari Wen's biography has variously been described as the most compelling of any band, the most rock and roll of them all, hard bitten and dramatic. The Tinari Wen's sound is primarily guitar driven in the style known as Asuf among the Tuareg people. The core elements of Tinari Wen's music are traditional Tuareg melodies and rhythms, including those played on the shepherd's flute, which is primarily a man's instrument, and those played on a one string fiddle known as the Imzad, which is played by women. The band was formed in 1979, but only came to prominence in 2007. From the Sahara, we jump to the Golan Heights, to a small mountain village that sits on the border between Syria, Israel and Lebanon, what you might call a hot spot. The village is called Majd el Shams, and the people who live there are part of a small religious community known as the Druze. We heard a track from Tutard, the Strawberries, called Binit el Kari. Tutard are a group of young musicians who were born and raised in the village and instead of doing religion, they do music. Due to the fragile political situation they find themselves in, the younger generation in the village stayed quite isolated from the mainstream Israeli culture and actually discovered the music they fell in love with through YouTube, reggae. They play what they like to call mountain reggae. Our third track takes us north into Lebanon. The track is called Fusik from the album Drab Zin by Tufik Farouk. Farouk was born in Lebanon and raised both in Lebanon and France. Farouk has been mixing up elements of jazz and Middle Eastern music since 1994.
The first track we heard came from the band Sheva in Israel from their album Gun. The track is called Avir, which means air. Sheva is one of Israel's first and most successful world music acts. One of their songs, Salam, is used by Madonna on a regular basis when she is dealing with her Kabbalah meditations. From there, we zipped over the Mediterranean Ocean to the UK and heard a band called Oy Vavoy doing a cover version of an old Yemenite tune. Oy Vavoy is a British band that takes its name from a Yiddish-derived exclamation popular in modern Hebrew meaning. Approximately, it means something like, Oh dear! It is an experimental band from London, England, which formed in the late 1990s. Their sound draws on Jewish music from both the Ashkenazi and Sephardi traditions, including both klezmer and Judeo-Spanish music, known as Ladino, as well as Eastern European, especially Hungarian folk music, as well as contemporary electronic music. <laughs>
staying in the West, we heard a wonderful track from a project called My Life in the Bush of Ghosts by Brian Eno and David Byrne, featuring Lebanese vocalist Dunya Younis. This album was originally released in 1981 and is considered a pioneering work in the field of sampling and modern music production. My Life in the Bush was followed by Thunderbird Mutation by Mick Khan, the legendary bassist from the band Japan. This track is from the album Tooth Mother with vocals from Natasha Atlas. Mother Mary comes to me Speaking words of wisdom Let it be And in my hour of darkness She is standing right in front of me Speaking words of wisdom Let it be Let it be Let it be Let it be Whisper words of wisdom Let it be
We finish tonight's program with an unusual cover that combines Let It Be and Give Peace a Chance from Lennon McCartney. This comes from an album called Tesmathoria, Women Sing World Music. The singer is Gani Tamir from Israel. This evening's program was presented to you by myself, Mark Smalian, with the dedicated support, import and production work of Ofer Mogolin, who consistently manages to dig up original and exciting music. So thank you, Ofer. So, from Kick Radio, wishing you all a good night. We hope you've had a wonderful show. We've enjoyed ourselves enormously. And with that we say, only good stuff. <laughs>